Hey, how's it going everyone? In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can upload files using Selenide. So we're going to take a look at two different ways to upload files. The first one would be the regular upload file where we can see the input button. So as you can see here, we can see this input type file, which is going to be the choose file button. So this one is the easiest way to do because we can simply go ahead, find this element and upload a file on this particular element. The second one we're going to look at is where we have to do some kind of JavaScript manipulation. And that's going to be because what you will see is you would not see a similar option such as choose file over here. Instead, they're going to add in some fancy button on top such as the select file button. And they're going to hide the choose file button because it doesn't look good on the web page. So either they will hide it or they will reduce the opacity. There are multiple ways the websites typically implement this. So we're going to take a look at both the ways where we are simply uploading the file using the choose file button and the second way where we actually have to make some JavaScript manipulation. So let's take a look at the first example that we're going to be working with, which is going to be a regular upload file. So for that, I'm over here on the internet.hiroku app. And here I can simply just click on the choose file button and I can upload a file. So once the file is uploaded, I can click on the upload button and it will go ahead and upload my file. So let's find the elements for this. I'm going to do right click and inspect. So I can see I have an input ID, which is this file upload right here. And the key thing to notice over here is, is the type file right here. This is the main thing. Anytime when you're working with upload files, you need to look for this input that has a type of file. This is the one that you're going to be choosing to actually upload your file. You're not going to be using some kind of, let's say, a button or something else. What you need to be focusing on is input type files. If you see that, simply get the ID or whatever the class name for that and do the upload on that. All right, so let's head over to our IDE and start implementing this test. All right, so I'm over here on IntelliJ and what I did is I created a new class called the upload test. And within that, I simply added my test method, which is the test upload file on visible input. And the first step I did is open URL and that's where I'm going to this URL right here. And now we're going to go ahead and actually implement all of these different steps. So the key thing over here is this upload file. Everything else is basically clicking the button and verifying the text. So to upload the file, I'm going to add in the dollar command here to find my element. So here we're going to be adding our ID and that was file upload. Now with Selenite to upload a file, all you have to do is just to dot upload file and then provide the file path. So I'm going to do new file and then within over here, I need to provide a file path. So what I will do is I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder under the test directory. And I'm going to name this one data. And here I'm going to add in a sample file. So there you go. I just added a sample.png over here. And this is the file that we're going to be uploading. So I will provide the path for this file. So I can do that by just doing right click, copy path. And here I'm going to select path from content root. And I will simply paste that here. All right. So this is all we need to upload file in Selenide. We simply need the element. And then we use the dot upload file and we provide the path to our file. Now I just need to click the upload button. So that one is easy. And I already know the element that I'm working with. And that is file submit. And then I'm going to do dot click on that. Now finally, when we upload a file, it shows us a successful text, which I'm going to show it to you right now. So I'll head over to Chrome. So I just edit this file form input.png. And when I do upload, it shows us the successful message, which is file uploaded. And this one is an H3 element and I can do inspect here. So this is an H3 element. So we're going to simply assert for this. All right. So over here, I'm just going to do H3. And then I'll just say it should have text. And then I'll add in my text here. So the text should be file uploaded. And that's about it. That is our overall test. So I'm going to click on play here to see whether this would work. All right, there you go. We just ran our test and it successfully passed right over here. Awesome. So that's how easy it is to upload a file in Selenide. You simply need to provide the dot upload file command and add in your path. Everything else Selenide will take care of it. So the next example we're going to take a look at is how we can upload a file when we do not see the input field, when the input field is actually hidden. So I've already added a test method for that. So for that, I'm going to go to this URL, which is practiceautomationboard.com forward slash cart. I'm going to show that to you on Chrome. 
All right, so on this website, as you can see, we do not see the choose file option, which we were seeing over here. So this choose file button is actually not there on this website. They have instead the select file button as well as the upload file button. But the thing is, choose file is actually here. All you have to do is simply find where it is on the web page. So if I just do right click here and do inspect, you can see right here, I can find this input type equals file. And you can actually search for it. Just simply do input type equals file. And the moment you do that, you're gonna find the input type file. And the thing is, this is actually hidden right now. And in this website, it, it's hidden using the class. So if I simply remove this class by just doing edit, and I'm gonna get rid of this class. The moment I will do that, you can see a choose file button will show up. There you go. I just did that and this choose file button is showing up. So I know for this particular website, in order for me to see this choose file button, I simply have to remove the class and I can see that choose file button. And then from there, I can simply go ahead and upload my file using this choose file button. So in your case, it might be a little bit different. For example, instead of having a class, you might have opacity set to zero or something like that. But either way, what you will need to do is simply go ahead and try to find this input type file. And once you find that, figure out how it is actually implemented on your website. And then we need to make some relevant changes to the website to actually make it visible again. So let's head over to IntelliJ. And what we're going to do is we will go ahead and add an extra step, which will be manipulating JavaScript and removing the class name. So over here, just remember the ID for this input type file is up file one. So this is what I'm going to be using. All right, so all the steps are going to be same. We're going to be uploading a file. We're going to be clicking the upload button and verifying the successful text. The only thing that's changing over here is we will add an extra step here right before uploading a file. And that would be executing our JavaScript code. And with Selenide, you can do that by using the execute JavaScript command. And here you can simply add in your JavaScript code. So we need to know what JavaScript code we actually need to use over here. So we need to manipulate the DOM in order for us to go ahead and remove the class from our element. So we'll first try this out on our Chrome just to see if it works. And if it does work, we're gonna simply copy paste that code over here. So I'm gonna copy the ID here, which is the file one. So this is the ID that we're gonna use to manipulate. And in my console, I'm gonna type in document dot get elements by ID. And I'm going to add in my ID here. And then I need to remove the class name. So I'm going to do dot class list dot remove. And I'm going to remove the class name, which is fall input hidden. And if I hit enter, you can see the class name has been removed now. And I can see the choose file button right there. So this is the exact command we're going to be using to remove the class name. And if I go back to elements, you can see here, there's no class name anymore. So I'm going to copy this entire command and I'm going to head back to our IntelliJ. And I'm going to put this JavaScript code right here. All right. Now the next thing we need to do is simply upload our file. So it's going to be the exact same thing as what we did before. So I'm just going to copy this and paste it here. The only thing that's changing is going to be our element. This is going to be up file one. And the path is going to remain the same. We're going to use dot upload file right here. Next one is we have to click the upload button. So I'm going to copy the same thing. And then here I'm going to change the element as well. This is going to be upload underscore one. And then finally, I'm going to assert the success message. So we'll copy this as well. And I'll paste it here. And then I'm going to change the element. So I need to find the element for this as well as the text message. So I'm going to go back to Chrome. I will upload a file here. And I'm going to click on upload file. So this is the message we get, which is uploaded successfully. So I'm going to select that. All right, so that's my ID. So I'm going to copy this ID and then I'm going to use this message, which is uploaded successfully. So I'm going to upload my selector here. I'm going to be using an ID, so I'll use that. And then it should have text, which is going to be uploaded successfully. So I'll update that right here. 
There you go. That's my text. So this is my overall code. Let's try to run this to make sure this works. All right, there you go. We're uploading our file. And then we just went ahead and successfully uploaded it. And we were able to verify our success message as well. So depending on how the upload implementation is done on your particular website, you can have to go ahead and make some changes. Either you can directly upload it using the input type file, or you might have to make some JavaScript changes such as over here where we removed the class name and then we did our upload on that. But your majority of the steps are going to be same. All you have to do is find the input type equals file and do dot upload file on that and provide your path and everything else is going to be same which is like clicking the upload button and verifying the session message. You may or may not have to execute the JavaScript code depending on the implementation. All right, so that's it for this video, guys. If you'd like to support my work, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit that like button on this video. You could also support me by sharing this video with others. And if you have the financial means, you can also support me using the super thanks button below. Thanks for watching. I will see you all in the next one.